Hello, I am Angel and I'm Cindy and we are Spicy Likes. Like <laughs> Welcome to our Soul Crew Night Survival Guide, which is also suitable for vegetarians. When we want to have a great soju night, we turn to the holy trinity of soju bars in Auckland. Oba, Pocha, and Twelve. Amen. Oba. Our first stop is Oba at Chancery Square. Oba and a lot of the other Korean restaurant bars have a cook-it-yourself style, where hot pots and grills are brought to your table depending on your dish. This way cooking some of your meal becomes interactive and is really fun to share with friends. I get FOMO when I see friends order hot pots, so we were excited to see a vegetarian hot pot option at Oba. Their menu highlights vegetarian options, which is super handy. We order food that is shared with friends like dumplings, waffle fries, and the kimchi pancake. Most of their dishes come with a side of daikon, which is small cubes of crunchy and tangy pickled radish. I like to swirl the bottle and then slap the bottom of the bottle with either my palm or elbow to show it who's boss. Soju comes in many different yummy flavors. Our personal faves are peach, blueberry, and green grape. Pocha. If you make your way up the stairs in Chancery, you'll find pocha. There are some social rules for drinking soju, but this does get harder to follow the more we drink. Soju is usually served cold in small traditional glasses. As is common with most drinks, it is bad manners to drink from the bottle, and best to use both hands when pouring or receiving a glass. Traditionally, you don't pour for yourself, though you may pour for others whenever you spot an empty glass. Pocha is home to one of our favourite rice cake dishes, with that classic sweet and spicy sauce mixed with ramen and topped with cheesy goodness. Yum! We also ordered the japchae without meat. The highlight of this dish is the glass noodles, which are made from sweet potato. If you haven't had glass noodles before, you have to try them. The glass noodles have a kind of bouncy texture which complements the dish's sweet and savoury balance. Twelve. Nomad. Adjacent to Chancery and up the stairs at Freiburg Place is Twelve. This is where we go when we're serious about having a good night. The outdoor area is busy and has a communal feel. It's easy to socialize with your friends and even meet new people. We order the dumpling corn cheese, which yes, it's just as delicious as it sounds. These are definitely worth a try. The Vietnam Dokboki, which is an extra special rice cake dish, that comes with egg and gumari, which are seaweed dumplings. No if you prefer less sweetness, there's always fresh soju, which has a nice crisp flavor. You can always opt for a Welch soda as a chaser or as an alcohol-free option that, yes, tastes like purple. Try a Korean drinking game where you twist and flick the cap. The first to flick the middle tab off has to drink. Bay. So that's us for the day. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments. We'll be back next week no with another restaurant. So terima kasih and zaijian. Paalam.